one of the virtues that Ibrahim alayhi salam held was the way that he wholeheartedly submitted into the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah notes this in the Quran by informing us that إِذْ قَالَ لَهُ رَبُّهُ أَسْلِمْ قَالَ أَسْلَمْتُ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ that whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called on to him to submit he usually said أَسْلَمْتُ لِرَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ I have submitted to the Lord to the Master of all worlds Before one is a Muslim, we make it a point to ask them, is there anything forcing you into Islam? If they ever say yes, someone is forcing them into Islam, so they don't qualify to be Muslims. But if at all, they wholeheartedly submit to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's the only quality that makes them Muslims. So the lesson here is, we need to be ready to wholeheartedly submit ourselves to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ibrahim alayhi salam shows us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the subduer of everything. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the controller of everything. If at all we are Muslims, it means that we need to wholeheartedly submit everything we have for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what Ibrahim alayhi salam was willing to do. Ibrahim alayhi salam was dropped into the blazes of fire for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Ibrahim alayhi salam was ready to slaughter his son for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And at the same time, Ibrahim alayhi salam left his family in the desert with nothing to eat because it was a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Things that defy logic, Ibrahim alayhi salam stands in to obey them, exhibiting high levels of submitting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what Allah demands from us because we trust him and we trust that whatever he tells us is for our own benefit and not at all against us. So Ibrahim alayhi salam is showing us that we need to always be ready for the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and try as hard as possible to put those commandments into place because that is why we are Muslims. We are people who wholeheartedly submit to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's because Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam laid a wonderful strategy. No Muslim will ever be a wonderful Muslim unless they totally submit themselves towards the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just imagine, if at all the test was on you, Allah is ordering you to slaughter your own kid, would you be in position to do that? If at all Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders you a newly wedded couple, or maybe you have a newborn within the family, and Allah is like, please, take this kid and the wife into a desert. Will you be in position to do that? If the answer is yes, then perhaps you're a good Muslim. If the answer is no, then probably we need to check our submission towards the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah grant us that good.